Hi, this is Katrina Sargent, owner and creator of Devil Doll Custom Creations. Today, we're going to be doing a mechanical pencils the same way we've been doing the Papermate pens. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. I would recommend going back and watching my basic pen tutorials for epoxy or crystallac if you haven't created any yourself yet. Everything in this video will be in my description below. I had Bic mechanical pencils laying around. You can do other ones. This is just the ones I used and the ones I played around with. So what you're gonna start off is you're gonna have to remove the clip exactly how you did the pens. Remove the eraser, remove any lead that comes in the pencil and then place it somewhere for safekeeping until the end when you need it back. So I take a pair of pliers and I grab a hold of that clip and kind of twist. You need to be kind of gentle with this. This can crack your pencil. I'll show you in a minute. Where you took off that clip is gonna have a slight ridge. I just take a sharp craft knife and kind of cut that away. So now you're going to tape off the top and the bottom. You can use painter's tape, you can use electrical tape. I use both. So I actually use chopsticks, disposable chopsticks in my pencils. So first, before I tape the whole top off, I'm going to then place the thinner side of the chopsticks inside where the eraser goes. It fits nice and snug. It's perfect. The best thing to do is tape the chopstick onto your pencil first and then tape again where you don't want any spray paint to go. So when you remove the tape away from the glitter, you're not going to be removing the tape that's holding the pencil onto the chopstick. And then you're going to tape the bottom tip off so you don't get spray paint or anything on that. I will show you in a second. You can take that tip off. It's just easier to leave it on, I think, than to remove it. Also, when you're adding your tape along those edges, overlap onto that clear plastic just a little bit. This is going to help in the long run. I didn't do this for a couple of my pencils. And now I will show you how to fix that if you don't. But now you have everything taped. Now you're going to sand. So what I like to do is I use a harsher grit first and then do a higher grit, like a softer grit to kind of even out any harsh ridges you got from the 220 or 120, whichever sandpaper you were using to get the roughness. You need to scuff up this plastic so the spray paint and everything adheres to the pencil itself. This is just like a tumbler or a pen. You have to have texture on the surface so everything adheres to your pencil. So here I'm going to show you how to take off that tip. That tip does just pop right off. You're going to have multiple pieces in the pencil. You're going to want to protect those because if anything gets adhered to those threads or anything, your pencil is not going to work any longer. So what you're going to do is you're going to tape around those threads. And I do suggest going a little bit above again so your pencil fits back together. I've actually had to throw a couple away because I messed up. So this is just easier to leave the plastic tip on so you can remove it later. 
But you're, if you do take it off, you're gonna be doing the exact same thing, taping it onto the chopstick or dowel rod or whatever you can find that fits in these pencils. So you remember when I said they break easy? They do. Here's one that just cracked right along that edge when I removed that. So don't add a whole lot of pressure when you are taking that clip off because it will split. And then you can't use this because it's not going to be strong. These are spray painted my base colors the tops pop right off so i'm actually leaving the tape on the tip as long as i can because it pops right off and i can just keep adding it back and forth if you want to remove your tape you're more than welcome to if you took that top off you're going to have to remove the tape after each coat after glittering all these things um, so it's just easier to leave it on and leave the tape on. So then you're going to attach your glitter any way you want. I use Crystal Act glitter glue. You can use Mod Podge, you can use epoxy. Things to think about though, you want to keep everything extremely thin. So I suggest using ultra fine glitters or something that's a really small cut. So if you get too thick of a glitter coat or even an epoxy coat, your pencils might not fit back together correctly or seamlessly. I did choose one of my glitters, which is my blue. It's a bigger cut than these other ones. I will show you what they look like compared. It is just thicker than these thin, ultra fine cuts that I'm using. Make sure you tap off any extra so you don't have to do a very thick layer of epoxy or bright tone. If you're using bright tone, you're gonna have to smush your glitters and spray E6000 spray on it. Watch my Crystal Act basic pin tutorial on all the steps needed. So I do them individually and then add them to my turner. It's so much easier than trying to do them while they're spinning. This is my favorite way to turn pens or pencils it's this flower insert with really tight rubber bands on there this is awesome if you're using epoxy you are going to have to remove the tape when it's turning after 45 minutes like you would do a normal tumbler if you're using bright tone like i did for these pens you can wait till after they're done curing a little bit it depends on what you're using but either you're going to need to take that tip off. And what I found is if I take a craft knife and kind of run it along that edge, kind of like you would do on a top of a tumbler, it would get anything that might've leaked underneath that pin tip. Also for the bottom or the top section where the eraser is, this part. This part was the biggest pain in the butt you have to, if you have any kind of leakage under your tape, if it's minimal leakage, I'll show you how to fix that. If it's a big amount, it's kind of just ruins your pencil. It's just easier just to throw it away and start new. You're gonna wanna run your craft knife along that edge also to get anything that might've spilled under your tape, you cannot leave anything on that black section. The pencil will not click and it will not work if you have anything on that black section. So you're gonna have to do this between every coat of epoxy or bright tone. If you don't, you get kind of a accumulation of it. It's a lot harder to get rid of than doing it after every coat. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to fix if you have minor spillage. I have a little bit of paint on the black section of my tape. I didn't tape very well. 
So I have a weeding tool that kind of gets between those two sections if you need to get any minor bright tone or anything out of that section. It will not come out if you have much. I take a Q-tip with some acetone and just to remove that paint, then I can use my weeding tool or my craft knife to kind of scratch at it a little bit to get it to move. And then once you're at this section, make sure it clicks and doesn't stick or anything before you keep moving on because you might have to throw it away. These pencils, my sons asked for Harry Potter colors and they're not girls. So I just spray painted them and then did a couple coats of Bright Tone. And these are the ones I glittered earlier. Now you're gonna need to sand them before you move on. I use an ultra fine sanding block. Before you move on to the next step, if you're using Bright Tone, do not sand until you have at least three to four coats on top of your glitter. You don't wanna sand away any glitter. So now I'm going to re-tape everything again. Remember, like I said, try to tape onto the pencil slightly so you don't get any spillage into any parts of your pencils. I promise you this little step is necessary. You will thank me later because you will not be throwing away as many pencils as I did when I first was trying to do this. So my gold one, I'm gonna be doing a honeybee exactly like I did my paper mate pen honeycomb. I'm not going to complete this on this video. Please go and watch that on my pen. It has its whole own video. There's a lot of steps involved, so please go watch that if you have any questions. Ask away. i just trying to keep this video condensed as much as possible. Now I have these little water slide tulips. I'm gonna have them linked in the description. Also, I have these cotton gloves I found on Amazon. For any water slides, they are a godsend. They are so wonderful to work with these little tiny pencils or pens. So I, I printed these out on clear water slide. They are very small. I wouldn't wanna do that on vinyl because that weeding the small of lines would be a pain in the butt. So this wouldn't work with a dark color glitter, but it works for a super light color. So you're just gonna soak these in lukewarm water until they release from the backing. Do not force a water slide to ever release before it's ready. You'll smudge it, you'll rip it, you'll mess up the design. 
So once it removes from the backing freely, you're then gonna just try to remove any water or air that could be trapped behind the water slide and your pen or pencil. So this one, I had a painted white pencil that had one coat of bright tone on it. I wanted to do a full wrap. It is one inch around by four inches. I did make mine slightly bigger, so the overhang, I just trimmed off later once it dried a little bit. This is a super easy way to measure anything if you have any questions before you print anything out. Again, this is laser printed on clear water slide. If you are using an inkjet printer, you're going to have to seal your water slides before you can use them. There are tons of videos out there how to use inkjet water slides. Let it release from the backing, don't force it. And then I lay it along vertically and then work my way around the pencil. This is the same way I do for my pens. I have any overhang going over the bottom tip so I can trim it away easily. And then work out any water or air you have gently as you remove the backing. Remember, even if it's a laser printed, it still can tear. It can still smudge take the ink off. You just need to be careful with water slides. Be gentle. And then if you have a little overlap, you can take a craft knife and slice it off, or you can leave it and then slice off any overhang you might have once it dries about 30 minutes to an hour. So water slides need to fully dry at least three hours before you move on to epoxy or bright tone. Definitely bright tone. Make sure it's fully dry. And then you're going to just tape everything back off like you did earlier and epoxy or bright tone until glass smooth 
I hope everyone enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, share, subscribe. It means the world to me. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. I will write back. I also have a Facebook group, facebook.com, Devil Doll Community. Thank you, everyone.